Often in the world of 3D, we are obsessed with making things look as realistic as possible. But there's one feature in ZBrush that's all about going in another direction. You can create images with non-photorealistic rendering or in short NPR. This creates stylized effects that can mimic traditional art media or other distortions. So I really like this if I want to produce an uh, you know, artistic render of my work. So how to bring that? Let's go to the rendering option on the top, the render here. And I will dock this. I will just click on this uh, small circle here. So it will dock on this side. And I have this render option here. Now, simply where I have to go is the BPR filter. So if I click on the BPR filter, you will see you have a lot of filters over here. But we are not going to work on these right now. We will work on the one that are already in uh you know pre-made inside your zebra so there are presets basically so you can bring up uh here or you can go to lightbox and then npr folder otherwise you can just click here lightbox filter and it will take you to the lightbox and inside the filter uh folder automatically here now you can see there are a bunch a lot of pre-made filters now to use any one of them you can just double click on it or just you know click on it and i will just double click on it uh, so that it will load so if you will double click you will notice that it will all uh, it will automatically load over here if it loads here that means that's fine now if i will press comma here and i will press a comma for just to close the light box and if i will close the bpr you can see that it will render and it will give me this view now very artistic very stylized and if i want to save this one simply i can go to document i can export this and wherever i want to save this one now this is temporarily i cannot work on it because if i will move it it will go back and i can press ppr here so it will be there uh, but one thing is that if you're recording a movie over here, it will record with this same effect. You just have to go to the movie and you have to, uh, you know, I think uh, just record. But when you're recording, you have to make sure this is turned on over here and it will record in that uh, part. And I think there is no other options to turn on because I have not tried it before uh but i'm i'm sure that you have to that you before recording this you have to just uh kind of turn on this effect and then it will start recording that with this and that's like pretty much it about it and it's really good i really like these effects and one more thing you can do here is that suppose uh if you go a little bit i like this one the watercolors uh in sky i like this effect a lot so if i will uh double click this one press comma to re uh, remove the light box and then click ppr it will render and very good result it will get. now one thing you can do here is that if you will come to the filters here you have 12 slots of filters here so there are 12 different filters here and this one is basically filter material shading if you will click on the small circle it will hide that and unhide that okay uh filter so you can see what it is affecting on and it's giving you the name over here so if i'll go to filter two it's about the contrast color so if i will hide it and unhide it you can see that okay so any filter which is not on will be solid just like this one so if i will click on this filter to turn it on you will see that now it is showing on the screen so if you feel uh that any filter which is not right maybe this is not that good so maybe you can go to this filter play around with these like settings over here so it's totally up to you what kind of settings you want to give it okay and play around to get your you know required results it's all about you know uh, try and error sort this sort of thing so you can just check all these on your own okay 
so maybe you can add noise or whatever you can do or just mess it around uh, but that's the pretty much thing you can restore it 100 percent for capacity so a lot of things are there reset so you can reset the filter so now as you can see there's uh, actual a lot that you can do with these way more than i get into this video but uh, feel free to play around with it there's endless combinations go ahead and play around with these and get a sense for what these filters can do and just try and make some uh, adjustments also in the uh, in these filters that you're working on you will enjoy and you will get you know a good kind of result there are a lot of things cannot be covered in this video uh, it's just all about you know checking them out and see which one uh, which suits on your model so if you have enjoyed my video please click on the like button and if uh, i will be uploading new videos like new lessons tutorials live sessions and full courses if you want to know about them don't forget to click on the bell icon automatically you will get the uh, notifications so I will highly appreciate if you will uh, give shout out to my channel on your social media account, which will really help me to get a uh, nice, uh, you know, uh, uh, feedback from the subscriber. I will get more subscriber. This will uh, really motivate me to create uh, more content for you. Also, guys, uh, thanks a lot for your support and please continue supporting me and take care of yourselves till we meet for the next lesson. Thank you.